Chamonix Ski Bum here reporting from Flen in the Grand Massif. I've come across here for the day to escape the maddening crowds. Big mistake. Never seen a ski area as busy as this. It's just crazy. It's not even a powder day. So much like the rest of the Northern Alps, it's been a tale of two halves this season. Above 2,000 metres, snow's actually been pretty good. Below 2,000 metres, it's pretty dire. So I came across to here approximately the same time last year. Last year was the driest winter in 60 years. Basically had no precipitation for three months. So obviously, therefore, no snow. And yet, in spite of that, there was both better quality and quantity of snow this time last year than there is this year, low down. So that tells a bit massive story, really. This time last year, it was possible to ski down to the lower valley resorts, but this year, they're all closed. The home runs into Le Caros, um, Morion and San Juan are all closed. It is possible to ski down to Le Caros 1300, but one of the runs down there is, was looking pretty horrific by midday today. It'd be even worse by the end of the day. So yeah, like I say, low down conditions this year are pretty sketchy and pretty ropey. So the Grand Massif itself is a bit of a resort with a split personality. First you have Flen, and then there's basically all the rest. So Flen itself is about 1500 meters, but most of the skiing here is above 2000 meters. Whereas all the other resorts, most of the skiing, in fact, pretty much all the skiing is below 2,000 metres. A lot of it's below 1,800. So as such, it's a very different story and you'll get a very different experience depending whether you're staying in San Juan versus if you're staying in Flen, for example. So if you are staying down in San Juan or that end of the resort, it's going to take you a long, long time to get up to the good snow, really. Whereas if you're in Le Caros, it's not too bad. And obviously if you are in Flen, well, you're basically in the middle of it. There's plenty to go at. So yeah. The experience you have here will very much depend on where you're staying, really. So if you are staying in one of the lower resorts, it's pretty much imperative that you get a whole Grand Massif ski pass. There's no point buying just a villager's ski pass because there's basically no snow in the villages. You have to make your way up to Flen one way or another if you want to have good snow, so just shout out for the full area pass. Conversely, if you're staying in Flen, it's probably not much point in buying the full area pass. You might as well just concentrate yourself on Flen because that's where all the best snow is. I assume it's possible to just buy a Flen pass rather than a Grand Massif pass as well. So the snow on the upper runs are basically at the top of the La Caros gondola. It's actually pretty nice. It's pretty much like a perfect consistency once it's softened up in the sun and you actually carve really well on it. But then you only can get so far down before the snow pretty much runs out. Whereas up here in Flen, on piste is pretty good. Off piste, everything's basically been skied already, of course, but high traffic areas that face south or west, it's definitely getting a bit ropey, but anywhere that doesn't face south or west, piste conditions are really, really good. One of the major attractions of the Grand Massif Ski Resort is the Cascade piste, which is the longest blue run in Europe. Indeed, it may well be the longest continuous single run in the world. I think something like 11 kilometers, maybe even 13 kilometers. Starts pretty much at the top here in Flen and finishes all the way down in Six for Chevelle. But unfortunately this year, it's not been open at all because there's not been any snow down in the valley. At least there's not been enough snow for long enough for them to be able to groom the piste all the way to the bottom. So that's a massive shame. And if you are coming here, you won't get to enjoy it. I didn't, I'm, I've not been able to enjoy it either. So yeah, unfortunately it is what it is, but there's still plenty of really long pieces up in Flen as well. So while well, you can't get your fix on the Cascade piece, you can get it somewhere else. One thing to watch out for if you're asking in Flen for the first time is a natural hazard, which is pretty much fairly unique to Flen and the Grand Massif, and that's rock crevasses. Now, coming from Chamonix, I'm pretty accustomed to the dangers of glacier skiing and the crevasses and you get up on the ice. But yeah, here in Flen, there are no glaciers. What they have instead is basically vast swathes of limestone pavement, which is split by massive cracks. And some of the pieces run over those cracks and sometimes they're not, not always filled in. So yeah, the hazards will be marked and they'll be pulled off, but especially if the visibility is poor, just be careful if you are skiing on the edge of the piste, especially if you're off piste, because there are just some massive gaping holes. So you definitely don't want to, don't want to be falling into them. So there is a little bit of snow due over the weekend and into next week so it'll definitely freshen things up on the piece and especially up high in Flen you'll be able to get a little bit of powder if you're out here at the weekend lower down in Le Caros and the other resorts it'll be basically token amounts and it'll be gone as soon as the sun comes out so it really won't change things low down unfortunately but yeah up here it'll be a, a nice little dusting maybe even 10 centimeters or so if you are coming out here this weekend expect to, be able to find a little bit of fresh before it gets all completely tracked out again but you have to be quick and you have to go up high because it is very very busy it won't last long so that's it for me for now from Flen. Just a quick little snow report while I'm here on somebody else's patch. I've been continuing my weekly snow reports in Chamonix as of tomorrow, so you'll be able to keep watching those if you've been tuning in so far as well. Or if you're new, then yeah, you can find out information about the wide area, not just Chamonix from my snow reports there. So it's worth watching those too, even if you're not going to Chamonix. 
because I'll give you a lot more detail than what I've given in this report. But for now, I'm off to enjoy the sun and enjoy the skiing. That was insane. I've never seen anything like that. I stopped skiing for pleasure and started trying to make my way back about 3, 3.15. It's just gone 5.30 now. I've only just made it back to the car. Those queues were just ridiculous. Thankfully, they had the common sense to keep the lifts running until everyone's back, because this footage is from 4.45 on the lift that you need to get back from Flen over to Le Carros. The lift should have shut at 4.30. As you can see, still thousands of people there, and there's hundreds more stuck in the lower lift to be just to be able to get there as well. So yeah, there'd have been absolute riots on the hand and people would have been getting murdered if they had to close the lifts at 4.30, which would have been a very French thing to do, just to arbitrarily shut, but thank God they didn't do that. I know I said earlier in the video that if you're, if you're staying in the carols, etc., make your way up to Fen where the snow's better, but of course everyone else has been doing that as well, so it's just absolute carnage. So if you do do that, make sure you give yourself plenty of time to get back, otherwise, well, because it's a long, long walk if you don't make the lift. Even now, there's still hundreds of people still stuck up there on the hill trying to make their way back through the knee-high slush moguls. And I'm a really quick skier, so I made it back here quickly. But yeah, there's many, many people in the lift queue behind me, and many of them are still up there. So yeah, it's been a long night for some people. Of course, getting back to the car is only half the battle. Now I've got to join the long line of traffic to get back down the mountain and back up to Chamonix again. Fun, fun, fun.